drop the rope, bury your weapons of war for, for peace. I see this in a lot of families where uh, people get married, they get divorced, or they get married, they stay married, uh, or they have problems with ch children, brothers and sisters, family members. And this is true in our family too. Um, but there's a term, and I learned this from my brother-in-law, really great brother-in-law, Mark. Uh, he, he used the term, drop the rope. And I didn't know what that meant, drop the rope. What that means is if there's two people and they're having a tug of war, what he said was, drop the rope. Just drop the rope. And uh, there was one time my wife and I were disagreeing about something. There's been many of those disagreements, but she was talking and I said to her, I'm burying my weapons of war for peace. I'm dropping the rope. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. I'm dropping my weapons of war for peace. And what I was really saying to her is, we've been through this before. We've been through this many times. I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. You want to you wanna argue, you want to bicker about something, go for it. Now, that doesn't mean I'm in the right all the time. In fact, I'm, I'm most oft times in the wrong. But there's differences of, of personality and so forth. But what I've learned from that concept of drop the rope is stop. If you need to take on your cell phone and you need to block incoming calls or incoming texts or incoming messages or put them in spam in your email, it doesn't matter. Sometimes the best thing we can do is stop the vicious cycle of arguing battling, getting revenge, uh, dwelling on the past. Um, and that's been a huge struggle for me with just a few people in particular. Um, but what I've tried to do is like the Lamanites did. They buried their weapons of war for peace. I have, been, I have been trying to bury my weapons of war for peace. I've been trying to drop the rope and stop the struggle. Take a breath, have a heartbeat, and act upon that breath. Make things great for the present right now because that's the only time that I, can, I have control of. I only have control over right now. What can I do right now to be the best that I can be because I can control myself. I can't control others. And I just need to be the best me that I can be so that I can bless my life and others that I come in contact with.